you know, I was at my cousin Carl's house and, and uh, sitting in his kitchen and Carl was a few years older than me and he knew about cars and girls and stuff, you know, and uh, cool I kid. was 15 and I didn't know about Jack nothing. <laughs> and uh, I was sitting in the kitchen and you could see clear into the living room from the kitchen through a couple little arch doorways and there was a party going on in there and it was kind of dark and there was those you know 1970s girls with the jeans and the long blonde hair and stuff that you could just barely see and turn it into some kind of you know apparition of something that you just didn't know anything about right. and the music was blasting it was smoky in there and everything was cool and people were laughing and it was I was like, wow, man, that's just some whole mystery. And so something in me, I was like, I got to know what that is that's playing on the music because it, there was just something cool about it. And the guy was, you know, clap your hands and, you know, that's what rock and roll is all about. And I was like, what the is that? You know, and I'd listened to Elvis records and stuff, but I never heard anything that was like, you know, this like rock and roll evangelist vibe. <laughs> and so I went in there. And I looked down at the turntable and spinning on this gigantic console hi-fi was Kiss Alive. And I was like, what <laughs> is that? And I picked up that Kiss Alive cover and I looked at the cover and I saw those guys and I saw that cover and I was like, wow, man. And I took that into the kitchen and I sat down against the, the cupboards there in front of the sink. And I just looked at that record and it had all those pictures inside. It has the crazy stuff from the cat man and the space man and the devil man and the star man and all that. And I'm looking at it and I'm listening to the music and stuff. And I was just like, that is the coolest thing ever. And I had had a, just a deep love of music where um, I, I just loved it since, you know, I mean, I played French horn and I loved the sound of how that sounded when the whole band played. So there was something about music that already was um, just something that I just loved. And so I, a couple of days later, I was in this place, the Music Hutch. It's long gone in Dexter on Main Street. And I, they was going through the you know music books and stuff. And I don't know, I was buying something for something. And I saw Kiss the Originals, this music book, and it, was their first three albums music that was all in a book and kiss alive was a record from songs from those first three records so i was like everything that's on that record that magical rock and roll evangelist record is in this book and i could read music from playing french horn and stuff i couldn't play the french horn but i could read music from playing the french horn <laughs> I Nobody was horrible. Can. It's a <laughs> I made it extremely small on the French horn. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it was like micro small. Right. And so I got that book and that's kind of at that point, I took it home and there was a song hotter than hell. And it went a, a, two, three, four, D, D, two, three, four, a, a. And I was like, okay, I think I have time to, switch between those chords in time and my mom had a wards airline acoustic and i swear to god it sounded exactly like the record <laughs> and that was it that was it and, and, and from that minute my mom said i was you know a guitar with the kid attached and that's <laughs> all i did from morning noon and night is i just i disappeared into a guitar and in a lot of ways um have yet to return 